There's more than one way to add in a calendar in Word 2019. So let's take a look at both of those. The first way would be to go to File and then choose New. And then we'll, we can type in the word Calendar. Hit Enter. And we're going to see a lot of different options. Here they are. So we see all these different ways of adding in a calendar. I'm going to choose just the first option that shows up. Double click. Click Create. And now it's going to insert it. It's going to give me the option of what month to start as well as what year. So I'll just choose the default and click OK. And you can see it's starting in the month I'm in right now. It also has the option to show different dates. And you can see you can do a Shift-Alt-Enter to do that. And now I've got my calendar. So if I want, I can click inside any of these. And I can make an appointment here. I can say doctor appointment. I can say take kids to school, whatever it is. And I can add that in there. Now that's one way we can do it. And we can also make changes to the colors and the fonts as well. And up at the top left, you can see themes, fonts, etc. that we can go in and do that. And it changes the colors up a little bit. Now we can also click on select new dates there. The other way we can do this, let's choose to open a document that I've already opened. The other way to do this is to insert a calendar into a document that's already been created. So the first way was basically to create a custom calendar and that custom calendar is really the entire document. But in this case, this is just going to be a part of the document. So let's say this paper that I wrote a while back, I would like to add in a calendar. So I can do that simply by going to where it says insert and go to where it says table and then choose quick tables and take a look at that. I have a whole bunch of different calendars I can add in. So I'm going to add in this one calendar says calendar three, for instance, gives me a nice looking calendar and I can go in and I can change from December because it doesn't really know what month I'm in like the template did. And I can change my numbers or whatever it is that I want here. So it all lines up the way it should. With the calendar selected, I can also go in and make some other changes to the way the calendar looks. I can also make changes to the border styles. And on the top left hand side, I can see I can choose banded columns. And you can see what that looks like when I click on that. I can choose the first column, uncheck it, recheck it, total row, etc. So here are all the different ways I can insert a calendar into my Word document that's already been created. So it can just be a part of the calendar. So you have your choice. You can either create a calendar that is dedicated to that particular document, or you can insert a calendar that's part of another document in Word 2019.